Okay, back with you. What uh, I've navigated over to the department's uh, regulation page, and I'm looking at the CAPS regulations, and I'll quickly look whenever I'm updating to see if there's a date attached here that is more recent than my most recent update. In this case, there isn't. But I'll bring up a relatively recent document anyway, just to show you at random how I do it, which is basically the same process. What I'll do is bring up the document here. And it will open up in Acrobat Rear. It's taken a while. So what I'm going to do is save a copy of this file, uh, which should be an option here. Save a copy. And 90AS PDF. I'll save it to my desktop. Normally, I'd just be saving it straight to info. There's no need to. What I want to do is demonstrate to you what I do here. This one got saved, and now I'm going to open it with. Oops, I got to get rid of these other ones. I'm going to again open it with Acrobat. So I'll bring up Acrobat. Open the file. So now that the document's up, what I do is go to the first section here. That, and again, I use the bookmark technique by just highlighting what I want in there. Actually, I use the column select tool like this. And then hit Control B and it creates the bookmarks. And I just go down to each section do the same thing. So I know, I'm not going to repeat the process which I did on the previous PDF document, but you have the idea how to create bookmarks now. Again, it's con highlighting Control B. It couldn't be more easy. And then you go, and at the end, remember, you've got to go to Document Properties, Open Options, and select Bookmarks and Page. Save it. And so that's what I do with that. E-notes. I work with uh, Acrobat on that too. There's an eNotes document 
what I do is I go to info here and e notes. Now, how do I add the latest e-note that Marsha may have written onto the system? Well, let's just, for the heck of it, assume that, um, let's just go, I'll go to my email. to my email and then I'm going to uh, bring up something here and let's just uh, let's just uh, open this for pretend this is eNote I'll go like this get to a new file paste it here and I'll just call this fake e-note and then I will print it but I will print it so I print that way and instead of going to my regular printer I'm going to the Acrobat Distiller as my printer going to ask me what I want to call this document in a minute, and I'll just call it junk, and I'll put it on desktop. That's my standard name for a document that's temporary, I just call it junk. Then, after this darn thing runs, running really slow. Once it finishes its process, which it has, I'll go to, it came up in reader, just get rid of that, and I'll go back to this, uh, where's my eNotes document, which is here in Acrobat. Oh, it's a reader. So I don't want it in reader. I want to open up Adobe Acrobat. Open and I'm go to CWP51 in the book marks all the list of them. Now I go over here to document, insert pages, and I'll navigate over to my desktop. And I'm going to put junk in there, select, and I'm going to put junk before the first page here. And all of a sudden my fake e-note is in here. And then I'd add a bookmark for it, just like I did the others. But you see, there's this way of inserting documents. So what I did is I went and I did a Word document. I printed it to Acrobat into PDF format. Then I had a different PDF document that I just inserted into the main document. And what I'm going to do now is delete pages, which I don't want this. I'm going to delete one of one of the 22 documents. I'm sure I'm going to delete it and back to my old file. And I don't really need to change anything. Okay, that's how I do e-notes.